when I discovered the core of my being, my innermost being, you know, I assumed that would be my spirit. But actually, the father showed me that that was where spirit, soul and body were united, where it in union and oneness and where they are connected to heaven uh, in that sense, where father, son and spirit are connected to me in my innermost being, where rivers of living water are flowing. They flow from that place. Where do they go? Well, they can go outwards into the atmosphere around us, creating an atmosphere of love and joy and peace around us, rest. Uh, but also they can flow into my physical being, into my energy gates within my physical being. So there are seven energy gates. Each of those energy gates has a particular purpose, function. Um, three of them, I believe, are foundational, the heart, the root and the crown. So connecting with heaven, connecting to creation, connecting with our own being in our emotions and in our whole being inside and then the others um, are for particular purposes where creativity or when we're needing insight or revelation when we're when we're communicating all those things have different functions also within that sense it's, it's a where where spirit and soul balance where heaven and earth balance where everything comes into a sense of balance and harmony and wholeness and so when the rivers are flowing and for me i like pictorial language so i see it as the rivers of life flowing in the Merkaba, the Merkaba being the place within me that is where I am connected. So connected to myself and connected to where my spirit is in the realms of heaven, connected to the heavenly realm. There are portals there which connect me to a multi-dimensional sense of where I am in multiple dimensions, but also it's a communication. So my spirit can communicate with my soul, my soul spirit. I can be in communication of heart to heart, mind to mind, face to face with God all the time from that place of my very core innermost being. Um, and then I can then focus the energy that's coming from that realm. You could call it living water. You could call it light. You could call it spirit. You know, you could call it all sorts of things. The quantum field energy effectively, that energy essentially can be directed to my energy gates to, to power them up, if you like, to empower them to function and i chose um every day i would engage with the father and then which ones would i need to power up today and they're sort of exponential they're not just sort of an addition one plus one plus one plus one seven it's seven to the ten seven to the ten ten seven to the ten ten all of, all of that basically gives you an exponential increase of energy um, which sometimes we need when we're engaging in sort of supernatural things particularly in the realms of heaven uh, in that way so then i would just choose to focus the flow of that energy that life that spirit that living water um, to the particular energy gate and then i would be energized and i would do that each day but now that is my state of being so i live in a state of energy efficiency so i have all that i need all the time to do everything i need to do and then when i need to go to sleep i dial it all down uh, and just go to sleep and rest and let my body uh, physically um, receive strength and energy life for health and immortality um, and i live in that state of reality that state of consciousness so now i'm not doing it consciously but i live in that energized state where i have all that i need for all that i have been called to do in, in anything so you know i go into it in more detail uh, in the engaging god program but i think you know it, it is something you can focus on until it becomes the state of awareness you are you are living in a state of constant energy being constantly energized constantly living abundant life jesus said we'd have abundant life you could say this is an abundance uh, more than enough for all my needs and an abundance for every good deed uh, in a sense that you know i, I wouldn't run out of physical energy emotional energy spiritual energy mental energy uh, insight energy all of those type of things that are connected into my innermost being so i would just choose to focus on it um, picture it the way you think of it and then begin to intentionally begin to energize different parts of your system so that you've got all that you need uh, to is focus your intention intention on it and see that river is flowing from another realm it's not something we generate within ourselves it's our attachment to the quantum field to the field of energy to the field of life to god himself
If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.